A Tardasir's House by Fabrica Nativa Architectura. A Tardasir's House intertwines daily life, nature, and rediscovering opportunities within its context. It is located in the Manabi province, in the rural area of the San Lorenzo de Hipihapa cantonal head on the Ecuadorian coast. The yellow land sector develops between protected and production areas. It has agricultural lots with a minimum area of one hectare, and different families have various crops such as coffee, plantains, corn, and cocoa, among others. They also raise animals such as chickens, pigs, etc. These activities coexist with wildlife such as guacaracas, guatusos, armadillos, guantas, tigrillos, and snakes which are very characteristic of the presence of mountains. In analyzing the context, areas where cana brava, a bamboo used for construction, is produced were identified at a distance of one kilometer. The distance from the city's urban boundary to the house is approximately three kilometers, which takes about 45 minutes to walk. A strategy is defined that dialogues with the environment, the location's conditions, and its users. 1. Identify available resources for construction such as wood, bamboo, and recycled elements. 2. Work with local labor, understanding construction traditions and contributing to learning new techniques. 3. Progressive, the house has the possibility of growing over time supported by a structure built from the beginning. 4. The architectural program defines the necessary basic spaces, sleeping, cooking, cleaning, and living. 5. Manage wastewater through biodigester and infiltration fields. Organic waste is transformed into compost. 6. Provide energy through an accessible photovoltaic system. 7. The cost of the intervention needs to be subject to government loans. The design initially proposes three options, 36 square meters, 66 square meters, and 132 square meters, the analysis determined that the ideal option was the 66 square meters, which accommodates families of four or more inhabitants, meets the conditions and does not exceed the initial range. For modules measuring 3.00 m by 5.40 m are constructed in treated roll bamboo, matting, and lath. They are joined together by screws, threaded rods, and nuts. The wet areas are located in the central module to facilitate flexible growth in the future. The house is elevated to dialogue with the humidity and heat of winter, takes advantage of the views, and opens up to the landscape. Its envelope is composed of recycled sheets with a base of matting.